out of us many people want to invest in ipo what is ipo let's know about it in this video hello when a company that has never issued share to public does it for the first time it is called an ipo ipo means initial public offering now we want to invest in ipo but we don't know the whole process of an ipo that's why sometime we are not able to invest in ipo we have many questions that how we have to invest in ipo how are the shares are allotted so i will try to answer all these questions in this video before moving ahead do subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends and loved ones the primary objectives of an ipo is to raise the capital either for expanding the business or paying a heavy debt are ipos are good way of investing or not let's say you use board brands speaker headphones earphones smartwatch and other electronic products and you think this company is earning so much from me i wish i could be a part of this company's growth till now you did not even the opportunity to buy this company's stock if that was the case there was no option before this but the great thing is that now you can be a part of this company through an ipo if you feel a company is launching an ipo whose future is very bright management team is good and it's in a good market and its valuation is good then you consider this company so then you can actually buy it at an attractive price technically ipo is the lowest price at which that company ready to give its share to you in a way it is the cheapest way for you to get into the future potential of the company yes of course the stock price might go down after this because if you look at ipo historical data you can see there are many short term gains in ipo now i think you have a basic understanding about the ipo now you understand the whole process of ipo before understanding the process of ipo first you have to understand that why any company requires an ipo the primary objective of an ipo is to raise capital either for expanding the business or paying a heavy debt let's understand the stages of every company's funding in stage 1 any company gets started with promoters fund this means the saving of founders they take money from friends and family members in stage 2 when a company grows then angel investors invest their money in stage 3 then venture capital firm and private equity firm invest their money in stage 4 company gets listed in stock exchange bse or nse through an ipo some people and institution invest in ipo we call them investors now we will understand the process of ipo in step 1 of ipo the company that wants to launch an ipo hires an investment bank this investment bank is called a merchant bank the step 2 is due diligence and filling the third step is our pricing now this responsibility is on investment bank and the company owner the fourth step is its distribution the fifth step is its application process the sixth step is share allotment the final step is listing on stock exchange now if you want to a detailed video on ipo process please comment i will make a separate video on this topic after closing date of ipo company has listed in stock exchange within 3 days in this 3 days company gets it fund share will allotted to the shareholders and also refund the money who does not allotted shares the dark side of ipo is you don't know anything about this company since it has never traded in stock market company is sharing its financial for the first time this means there are many things which you do not know about the company so you are betting on something which you don't understand fully that is the problem on my opinion ipo is a great way to make short term money and it's a way for you to unlock short term gains and make happy money if you want to long term investment in those company invest after listing whenever the stock price goes down and you have a better understanding about the company now the final section is if you want to invest in ipo then how will you do it i use grow and angel one for this it is my preferred brokerage account 
I do all my stock investing through it. So, if you don't have Grow and Angel One account, then you can create its account by the link given below in the description. Applying IPO through Grow and Angel One is very very simple. I hope this video will help you. I hope you like today's video. If you have any question about it, stock market, personal finance, please comment us.